Hey guys, name's Fen playing the third and final mission released in the new Dark Novice Contest of 2016. This one's called Shoes and Dresses by Jarl Frank. Let's just get to it. Uh, okay. So we're gonna steal some clothes for some sort of vain person over here. Lady Greitalvend wants you to steal Lady Winford's fine dresses. Break into her mansion and get them. Lady Greitalvend wants to get her hands on Lady Brambleton's shoes, because, you know, shoes with brambles in them are the best for getting those feet tough for those conquerings. The local baker has a reputation for delicious cakes. Treat yourself to some delicious reputation cake. End statement. While you're at it, get 4,500 loot, and you can steal from everyone, even a master thief steal from yourself. <laughs> what? Okay. Don't kill and get back to my bedroom. Steal from myself. What? The, oh, <laughs> that's that's pretty funny, actually. Like seriously, I could just steal from myself. That is the silliest thing. <laughs> that's the thing that I always try to do in missions, but but I I can't because obviously. But this mission, you can because. <laughs> Why not? Sure, I've got some tasteful statues up in here. That is the bare-breasted woman, which may or may not be considered objectification, depending on, uh, you know, whose opinion you're asking for. And, uh, depending if the person you're asking is of the belief that people have different opinions, or that everyone in the entire world of, uh, thinks like them. So, yeah, hey. Okay, steal for myself. Does that mean that I missed something in this room? You know, some secret... or something? I don't know, but I hear some step walkers out there. That's never a good sign. So I should probably try to, uh, you know, get the secret pretty quickly or something. I guess, I don't know, I have a doll. Like, sure, Garrett, why not? I mean, I don't know, go to sleep with a teddy bear. <laughs> and two drop is the closest thing we have. Sort of. Well, there's a teddy bear in some sort of resources somewhere. Unless, of course, this entire place is mine. But Garrett normally lives in an apartment, so... No, I guess... I guess I really do have a big old house. Well, that explains that. So, uh, maybe there's a ring in the toilet? Because that's where our love went? No, maybe there's a ring in the bar of soap? No, uh, this seems like rather lavish for Garrett, but I guess he actually started saving up his money at some point, you know? Not inconceivable that Garrett could have the greatest house in the history of mankind if he actually, you know... Saved his money up or something? Okay, so st still my own stuff. You, you taffer. Say the same word twice. Great, okay, so... Wow, I actually have a map! It's a bit crude, but sure, okay, there's home sweet home. Wow, it's an entire town. What? Yeah. Hi. Huh? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what have we here? In the name of the Order of the Foot, the lesser known sisters of the Order of the Hand. Okay, I see what kind of mission this is going to be. A humorous one! I take full responsibility for the existence of this floating block of marble and offer my sincere apolo apologies. It was an error of calculation that summoned it here. Just a tiny little detail I overlooked when I cast a rather complex spell. I apologize to anyone who might be unnerved or inconvenienced by this unfortunate accident. Sincerely, Magadina, Sorceress of the Order of the Foot. P.S. To all the wizards of the hand using this opportunity to claim that women can't cast spells and should go back to the potion brewery, taff off. Whoa. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, then. I don't think anybody is claiming that. What? What is all this weirdness? I don't think anybody's claiming that, though. There's perfectly good priestesses in the game and stuff. This here is a public toilet provided to you by the city's association of street cleaners. If you feel the need to relieve yourself, please make use of this useful contraption instead of doing it on the streets. Thank you very much with no punctuation. Signed, Peter Cleany, Street Sweeper General. Uh, this is very silly. I mean, I like it. It's a completely different uh, mood from <laughs> their mission. I'm guessing... I'm guessing this might be like a draw med thing. Maybe not. I don't know. Like, calculation error... I, I don't, maybe not. Maybe it really is just made for a joke. I'm not really sure. I haven't used drama extensively enough to... What are you two doing playing, like, a game of fuzzy dice in a back alley? What? What on earth is going... <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> just drag furniture out. Uh, okay, well, I mean... Okay, you guys are just sitting here, huh? All right. 
Hammers and Haunts, first edition. Rules and guidelines for exciting role-playing adventures, as written by Lady Carrie Kissov, a new pastime for nobles and commoners alike. What? <laughs> Creating a character. Are you bored by your normal, everyday life? Do you wish for something more exciting than doing paperwork, standing guard in front of some, some insignificant place, or making overly long diary entries about your boring day-to-day -day life? I love your sense of humor, dude. Worry not, dear reader, for Lady Kissoff has, with the help of her husband, Lord David Kissoff, created an exciting new game to liven up your dreary days. Are those names supposed to be just names or what? In Hammers and Haunts, because they're, they're presented like, hey, here's the name. In Hammers and Haunts, you slip into the shoes of a brave adventurer exploring the dark and dangerous places of our world. Have you ever dreamt of joining the Order of the Hammer to smite heretics? Have you ever wanted to be a daring thief breaking into trapped and guarded vaults? Or maybe you always wished you could be a mage unlocking the secrets of the arcane. Ah, all those things are exciting, but they are also dangerous. Uh, behold, then, this game called Hammers and Haunts. In this game, you can do all these things without any danger f to yourself. All you need is this book of rules, a sheet of paper to make notes, and a couple of dice. Before the start of the game, you create a character. This is the person you will play during the game. From a, a pious hammerite to a taffing scoundrel, you can be anything you can think of. The game happens entirely in your imagination, and therefore offers unlimited adventure. When creating your character, you can choose to give him or her a couple of competence points and different abilities and skills to determine what he or she is capable of. The rest of the book contains a lot of numbers and tables that you don't want to bother with right now. Your life is exciting enough. You don't need a game to have adventures. <laughs> This is, yeah, this is completely different. Like, this is just like, hey, we ain't gonna be all serious over here. We're gonna be jokey-jokey. And I, for one, am completely and utterly okay with that. Okay? Okay, good! Yeah, okay. So, some nk helmets going around over here. I don't know what my problem is with the syllables. Anyways, what have we got here? Lady Brambleton is attending a party at Lady Winford's Manor tonight, so she is not at home. If you have a message for her, leave it under the door. If you're here to buy her shoes, she is still not interested. She is well aware that they are of exceptional quality and may very well be the most exquisite pair of shoes in the entire city. She's also aware of the master shoemaker's tragic demise and that no one else is capable of such craftsmanship. She is, however, not willing to sell them no matter how much you offer. Stop bothering her or you'll receive the guard's boots on your behind. Signed, Lady Amanda Brambleton. Well, okay then. Hey, I really like this little decoration here. It sort of seems a bit festive holiday style for some reason. I don't know. I Just somehow. So, so okay then. So that's Lady Brambleton's place, I guess. Or not. Or it is. Yeah, okay, it is. So, how then? How then would I sneak? Oh, wait. She's at the... So they're both at the Winford Manor, I guess, then, huh? Presumably she's wearing her exquisite shoes. I don't know, it's a bad idea to have something totally unique and desirable. Someone will kill you and steal it from me. <laughs> hey, I'm not saying nothing. I'm, I mean, I'm just okay. freaking warning you. Let's get get the best of me. Yeah, hey? Yeah. Lady mages should go back to the police department where they can be police officers. Whoa, so sexist. The narrow bar. Our interior sucks because we made our exterior too large. The basement is great, though. Okay. <laughs> I mean, what? The exterior is too large, so the interior is narrow. How is? How does that make any sense? <laughs> okay. Well, whatever. I, I guess. I guess. Hey, you know, nobody cares about me. You've got the little scarab beetle thing on your back. Purple wizard's key. He's a purple wizard. He's not like an order of the hand brother or a mage. He's a purple wizard. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I don't know what the hell his key would possibly do, but I guess he's getting drunk with the rest of them. Sure. I mean... I mean, okay, this mission ain't as fancy as either of the last two, and it ain't as serious either. But, I mean, you can't help but be charmed by this. Am I right or what? I mean, seriously. <laughs> this guy's like... This guy's like, okay, I'm not an expert at drama and first level and all. You know, I'm just gonna have some fun with it. And, and man, he did. And it's awesome. For sale. This tiny one-room house is for sale. It's unfurnished and very small, but maybe you have a use for it. I don't, which is why I'm selling it. Well, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> 
<laughs> sure. That's that's amazing. Like if you yeah. If you can't, like, if, if, you, if you've got, like, a room like this and you're like, I don't know what to do with it, and there's a deadline, at least put a joke about it and, oh, man, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty great. So, okay, so I'm going way over there, but I guess I should probably, I mean, 4,500, that's a fairly steep loot goal, at least one would think, but depending on the value of things, perhaps not, I don't know, inflation can happen rather quickly. In these enlightened times. So, uh, everybody inflate their balloons up into the sky and make sure to product place their way to heaven. Okay? Egg salad. Ah. Oh. Oh, okay then. This definitely looks like a laboratory. Well, it's a warehouse. Obviously, it could contain some laboratory equipment. Yeah, 325. Yep, I'm going to have to scour my way to heaven and do everything else my way to heaven in order to get my looty loot 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 thing. Rudy roo roo and a fruity fru. I'm a real boy. I'm gonna come out my shell at the wheelchair convention. Ah! Oh, apparently also there is an Easter egg somewhere in here. So I should be on the lookout for that. Apparently also I shouldn't have reloaded just because I lost a couple of health. That's very wimpish of me, so yeah, I mean I don't know. That could be anywhere. I would really like to find it, but I can make no guarantees that I will. Just, uh, just so y'all know. But there are some crates here, so if it involves crate stacking, well, at least I know where to look. So I'm kind of going that way ultimately. But before I do, I suppose I should try to explore elsewhere, such as over this way, perhaps. I don't know. That hey, oh, I see you there. I see you there. You're not an Easter egg, but you are an egg. Well, you're a loot. And a loot is something that I call a egg. It's just a term of endearment, you understand? Nothing offensive or insulting going on here. Oh, so that's an actual place. Okay, let me see here. That's where I'm going. This is my home. The square is there, so I should be kind of over here. It doesn't look like it's anything at all, but there's clearly something inside there. What is, what is even going on? I don't think any of these windows are openable. Well, I don't know. Let me see. Yeah. Okay, but there's something over there, though, so... That is not in any way connected to this building, so I don't know why I even notated such a thing, but... Sure. Okay, that's probably the wizard's tower, then, because, I mean, there's magic-y glow purple stuff around there. I mean, I don't friggin' know. I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have... Uh, whatever. I just... Come on. Come on. Come on. I should start busting some heads, probably, but, nah. So unless one of these windows is go into a bowl, I'm not sure. I could probably get it to it from the other side in that case. I don't know. Anyways, I'm just going to go up here because why not? Oh. Oh, okay. Uh oh, so this then would be... Oh, this would be Lady Bramleton's Manor. Oh, I, can't, I see. So, I guess she didn't take her shoes with her, so I'm supposed to be in here after all. Okay. It all makes sense. Are the Easter eggs under that plant? No, there's only one. And it is not under that plant. No, 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 no. Yeah, seriously, I don't know why I start my sentences with R when they should be starting with is. You know, Eddie Izzard. That's the thing you can start a sentence with. Pretty sure if you want to pretend he's a policeman, you can get your sentence carried out if you... Pay him enough, probably. I don't know. Yeah. You are my first KO, I think. Benny, please be extra vigilant tonight, as I will be at Lady Wenford's and someone might see my absence as an opportunity to break into my home. That Lady Greitelvend wants my favorite pair of shoes and may even resort to thievery in order to get them. I'm going to leave my shoes at home and go barefoot. Uh... Okay. We'll spend most of the evening in Lady Wenford's garden, and I like the feeling of grass beneath my bare feet. Since I'm likely to end up drunk tonight, this way my shoes can't be easily plucked from my feet while I'm passed out from too much wine. Locked up in my room, they're going to be safe. 
I'll take the bedroom key with me so nobody can get inside, but still keep your eyes open. Lady Greithalvend is so obsessed about being the most well-dressed woman in the entire city, she's willing to do anything to achieve that. She's been begging me about buying my shoes for weeks, but I'm not willing to sell. Please, Benny, take your job seriously for once. I don't want to get home and catch you drunk and asleep in the armchair again. I'm paying you to guard my mansion, not to slack off. If anything gets stolen tonight, I will take it out of your salary, be it my shoes or any other valuable in my house. Oh, and if you open one of the expensive wine bottles again, I'll subtract it from your salary too. I hired you as a guard, not as a wine taster. Substracted, even. Also, she should probably just fire him and get somebody who is, like, competent in any way, shape, or form as a guard. Just saying. But, oh, that would not be as amusing. So, yeah. I'm guessing, then, that I have to go to the fancy party. Yeah. And, uh... And bring back her key all the way back here. Well, fair enough, I suppose. I mean, I was thinking I had to go there anyway, so... Whatever. Still on the lookout for Easter eggs, wherever they may choose to show their visage. Hmm, this is kind of... I don't think I can jump all the way over there and still land on the rope, but I guess I'll try. A couple of lamp posts might not go amiss for me to fall down onto, you know. Oh, wait, wait, I think I can. Oh, oh yeah. All right. Wait a little bit. Okay. Oh, that. Oh. All right. I guess you'll be my second kill. To be placed in the Super as Mario as Brothers instruction manual. All right. There you are. I feel very unskilled doing that, but hey, I guess I kind of am in in a certain way. So again, going that way, but I think I may not have explored this other place quite enough. Something there? I don't know. So I'm just gonna have a little run around the square, just see if I can see anything and see what can be seen. For example, there's there's that. Okay, okay. So I can kind of climb all the way up there, I think, if I just take some baby steps here. <sighs> Scream and whine when I don't get my little rattly toy to eat. Boy, I go through so many rattly toys that you would be surprised the toilet even works. Okay, perhaps I'll just try straight going up here. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, wait a minute. Unless that's a real thing? I don't think it is, though. Okay. Maybe this isn't either, then, come to think of it, perhaps. Ah, no, no, no. Oh. So, did I already have one, or was that two? Well, I feel a bit ridiculous now. Okay. So, I guess... You're kind of supposed to, like, use one and get down onto here or something? Well, very good then. And I've got a spare, so, uh, no harm done to anybody. Hmm. Easter eggs, Easter eggs, Easter eggs. Let me see here. Oh, that's a slight texturing mistake, or an architecture mistake, as I think I'm aware. All right. Hmm. Sometimes these roofs are slipperier than others. Okay, so... No. Well, there are those crates. Maybe I can stack crates up there and that'll be the Easter egg. I don't know. It could be anywhere. I guess I'll keep it in mind. TMK. What is this, then? This is the bakery, I guess. Fine enough. And this looks dark, but isn't. Oh, okay. It kind of is. Well, whatever. That's fine. This is the entertainment mission. We are here to laugh and make merry, and also to conk people on the head and make merry. They all shook their heads, all of them. Even sweet Charlene, whom I had thought to be a woman of refined tastes. But she is as much of a pleb as the others. Bah! Garish, they had called it. Pompous, impractical, inappropriate. The only thing inappropriate is their dirty boots treading on my high-quality hardwood floor. At least Charlene, the sweet thing, had the decency to take off her shoes before coming in here. Ah, why do I keep referring to her as sweet? She is just as ignorant as the others. Cute, she had called this. Cute! And then she had dared to suggest that I should get more rooms. More rooms. Look, she said, how little space you have for living. Why not build a second floor and get a bedroom and a kitchen upstairs? Preposterous! 
Yes, I know my house is small, but that is all the more reason to not get more rooms. How small and tiny would my throne room look if I divided my house in half by adding a top floor? Ah, but she did not mock me like the others. It seemed like she understood my predicament. To be a king with too small a castle. Oh, how I long for a real residence. Had I a proper palace to my name, she would likely take my hand in marriage. And we could rule together, even though I obviously don't like her very much. Rule? Bah! None of these silly fops that call themselves nobles believed me when I told them I'm the rightful ruler of a distant kingdom. It's not my fault I forgot my realm's name. Such things happen when you violently hit your head on some hard surface. What? If only I hadn't slipped on that slippery deck during the long naval voyage to this city. How ironic. They laugh at me for not remembering the name of the kingdom I should rightfully rule, and yet they don't even know the name of their own city. If it even has one, they just call it the city. How ridiculous. I haven't met the baron of this place yet, and he's not granted me an audience yet, even though I sent him ten requests. I, the rightful king of whatever my kingdom's name was, am not taken seriously in this place. Maybe I should go talk to those Hammerites. They seem to be decent fellows. They will surely believe me and possibly even support me. I do not have any money left because I spent it all on my throne room, but that shouldn't be a problem. Hammerites like righteousness, and I am the rightful king of some land who has been sent into exile by vile traitors. I will be king again, and if the name of my kingdom does not come back to me, then I will just become a king elsewhere. Maybe even right here. This city only has a baron, and what is a baron compared to a king? <laughs> I like your attitude, buddy. Not pretentious at all. Wow, that's a nice throne. Very cushy. <laughs> I like it, and it's a strange sort of like non-stock resource in this mainly stock resourcey place. Hang on. The fact that there's crates worries me somewhat, I will confess. Um... <laughs> it means that the Easter egg is going to be like some weird crazy crate stacking thing. Aha, uh -huh, you see? I've learned that weird thing that you have to know in the original mission somehow, even. Or you can swing your sword on a rope somehow. It's totally weird. But I know it nonetheless. I am a weird person. A weird person, the weirdest snowflake you didst ever meet. Well, I guess that's that. <laughs> I mean, the throne room is the only room, but uh, hey, when you're a king who doesn't remember his own kingship, then I guess you got to make do. Make lots of do. So this is just another way up to that other place. So, so that wasn't the wizard's tower. That's the wizard's tower. This is just some freaking weird place. So I guess I get to it from this side then? Presumably. So I'm going back that way if I go over there. So just kind of just make sure that I have done my due diligence in this sort of spot. Okay, so one of these windows is mine, but that one I haven't been in yet. Whoa. Watch the heck out, sir. I think I think he can't be knocked out, am I right? No. No, I thought his helmet was one of those helmets. Okay, well, first I'm gonna go in here, though, right? Yeah, so this is just like a kind of rob everybody blind kind of mission, just a night about the town, and, you know, every once in a while you need one of those, or more than once in a while, depending on your tastes and preferences, I suppose. I don't know. I like to reference people's preference. Hmm. One would think that people would lock up their valuables better. That's like a door, or it's got a door on it. An odd piece of equipment. I don't know. I guess... I guess his house is locked, so like, why bother to lock up your valuables if you already locked them up in a slightly different sort of sense of the word, eh? Why indeed. So, I've been in there. But I guess I ain't been up here. So... Alright, now of course, I gotta watch. Oh, sure. Damn this house! It looked so nice when I bought it, but that salesman didn't tell me about the ground floor. Just below my bedroom, there's the neighbor's bathroom. What is this burke dung? Who constructed this building? Why would anyone build a house like this? I should have known there's something wrong with the house. It was an offer too good to be true. Lesson learned, don't buy anything from shifty salesmen in purple plaid suits. Well, especially not if their name is Stan. So what, below his... 
just below my bedroom there's a neighbor's bathroom. That doesn't sound outrageous to me. I mean, it's on a different floor. I mean, I don't, I don't know, unless there's a vent going. I guess it is outrageous. I don't freaking know how houses are made. I mean, come on here. No, okay. Yeah, so it was just like, hey, get this stuff and make sure not to fall out of the window too hard. So, that's the thing. I mean, I've got one more slow fall left, but... Le chose is... Oh, come on. Get on the rope. Oh. That usually doesn't work. But, I mean, surely this isn't the last time I'm going to need a slow fall potion, right? So, I kind of don't want to... Uh, getting on the rope from the top is, like, kind of almost impossible sometimes. See, now I'm stuck, and I have to... Oh, no. Good, good, good. I got lucky. You just have to kind of get lucky. Fantastic. So there's the public toilet, like, for no reason. There's my house. There's Lady Fatface's house. There's that awesome weird game over there. And there's probably some coins in the fountain, because when are there not coins? Well, water arrows. That's almost as good, I suppose. So, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What? 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 Did I miss something? Why is there, like, the weird seven dwarf parade of guards going over there? What the hell's going on here? Seriously, what? They all just spawn for some reason? Well, I guess the yoke is on me, then. That's weird as hell. <laughs> okay, did they spawn from me going to the fountain? I guess it's just like, hey, if you want to make this too easy, well, you can't! Oh, that's cool. No problem. Uh, I don't really want to try crates like everywhere, so I guess I'll just see if the Easter egg is some other place. Sure, some cheese on a shelf, why not? <laughs> this has got a real sense of whimsy about it. Okay, the wizard's tower, that's definitely a tower. However, it does not seem to have a functioning door. And it did say purple wizard, whereas this looks blue, so obviously... Whoa. Shit. So, obviously, not, as exciting as I thought. not this tower, clearly. <laughs> Kinda don't know if I should be knocking people out now, to be perfectly honest. A lantern guy might spawn, I don't know. Tower of the Purple Wizard, I can satisfy all your magic-related needs. Open for business from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. If you got no magic, it's tragic. Maybe I gotta jump up and get down from the top or something, I don't know. No, it looks like I can't get in unless it's from the sewers or something, but there's... No, so why do I have his key then? You know? Weird. Oh well. Um... Oh, I guess this is his storehouse or something? This is his real house? The tower's just for show? It's just a big old billboard advertisement? Hang on. Something... Something's funny about this because... Why did I have to unlock this place? Why did I have to unlock it if there's nothing in here, eh? Ah. Uh, some... Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> it just comes up through the carpet. Sure, you know, he's a wizard. That's, that's some basic magic for you. Go throughable carpets. Yeah, so it's not the sewers, but... Wait a minute. Okay. It's not the sewers, but it is... Sort of the general kind of idea of the thing, so yeah. Awesome. I don't know. I like this. It's got like a real je ne sais quoi to it. You know? It's 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 like, hey, you get into the wizard's tower from underneath. That's pretty awesome. And also you get teleported to your death without any way to get back. That's also pretty awesome, I guess. Hmm, well, okay, sure, fine. Why not? I'm gonna have to come here at some point eventually. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, um, this is like weird, and I love it. I mean, <laughs> there's a real sense of whimsy in this mission, like I've been saying. I mean, okay, but I'm missing some stuff back there, though. I mean, yeah, there's some square and empty rooms, and it's it's clearly like yeah, first mission. Kind of amateurish, but I mean, there's a real effort being made to like make up for that in other ways, you know what I'm saying? And that's uh, 
<laughs> I mean, like, look at that. Like, what the heck? It's a stupid horse, TM. Or or an arrow, Yoshi. It's a it's a it's a bone pone. I don't know. It's a rope arrow. They always appreciate it. I mean, who's ever made that, right? Like, this is this is just absolute fun have, and uh, that's pretty great. So I guess this is this isn't in the tower, of course. Well, maybe it is theoretically, but clearly not physically. I mean, oh, I guess that's a bigger version of the little horse thing. It's like a llama. I don't know. It's like some square dog or something. <laughs> I don't know, so I could go up there, or I could go up here. I guess this might lead me out or something. And for some reason, there's a zombie, like... Why not? A couple of them, even. Whoa ho ho. <sighs> uh, I mean, sure. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit, uh... Hey, thing, whatever thing. Maybe I can get onto the outside of it, though. Perhaps that would... Be a better idea? I don't know. Just give it a try. It's yet another thing I gotta fall down from, though. I don't know. Getting a little folly up in here. You know, tis folly to attempt to yearn and earn from the wizard. He shall burn you in the eternal fires, because eternal burn, learn, and squirn all are words. Okay. Only hell knows. Okay. Oh man, I now realize what my problem was with Gravity of Light. It wasn't that it was a different vibe or not catchy or whatever. It was, it was that it was super smashy compressed, which is incredible shame because it's got this amazing music and elements that you could barely pick out because of the smashness. It's really a crying shame. Let's cry. Oh, that's a convincing cry. Okay, so. One would hope I could find a way to escape this monstrosity-like abomination at some point here. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's very amateurish, let's not kid ourselves, but, you know, it's it's got a lot of heart in it, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Oh, right, 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 so I did, uh, I wasn't crazy when I fathomed a connection between this place and the wizard. Alright, and he's got like a frying pan there for some reason. Okay, it's a pot, it's like some sort of miniature cauldron, because you don't need a big-ass cauldron just to cart your family around in style. Hmm, yeah, I see you up there, whatever you are, I don't know what you are, but I see you, it's a gray man head, okay. But how do I get out of here, though, actually? Well, there's a switch on the wall. Sure. Oh, okay, the window opened. Okay, one quick, one quick thing. Well, that was a really weird place, but I wouldn't call it an Easter egg. It definitely was uh, an intended thingy, I'm pretty sure. It's fairly normal. <laughs> this guy's crazy, this wizard. He's got, like, coffins everywhere. Well, one coffin somewhere, anyway. Uh, fortunately, I can kind of get down this way, which is normally not the case. Oh, so that's... So, I want to just go back into that tower just to finish that one room what I didn't finish. Right, of course that wasn't the metaphorical tower or anything. This is the metaphorical tower or anything. Also, I guess I climbed up here and just didn't remember it or something? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so let's read the note then. Congratulations, thief! You managed to get into my tower. I must warn you, though, do not touch the crystal ball. You are not ready for what will happen if you do. Leave now and don't break into a wizard's place ever again, or dabbling with things you do not know will one day lead to your demise. <laughs> Doesn't lead to my demise, that leads to my success. All right, well, it was a readable that I missed, so... Fair enough. What? <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Well, oh, I'm back here. Okay, well, I know what the note says. There's no need to go back to that horrid place. Right? I just love the energy. Like, hey, I'm gonna make like a cool. Whoa. Okay, a mechanist and a hammer. Like, why not? Where is that on the map, anyway? Hammers? Mechs. 
They're beside each other. That's, that seems to be slightly non-canon. I don't know. I mean, they're probably gonna just be shouting at each other across the street. Hey, you despicable mechanist fool. Hey, you despicable ham face. Why don't you make up a proper slur instead of just calling me a despicable fool? And the hammer goes, hammers do not slur for they speak properly unlike you stupid Kara speak followers whose leader doesn't speak good well. And Max be like, how dare you, sir? Why am I even calling you sir when you're clearly a despicable, utter, utter fool moron? And the hammer goes, well, it's not me who is despicable, it's you! Okay, enough of that bloody nonsense, and I do mean nonsense, and I do mean nonsense that is bloody. Let's see what hilarity awaits. Mechanist Church, our order stands for invention and progress. Do not listen to the rumors about our late father Karras' evil plan. It is pagan propaganda invented to halt technological progress. The gear lives on, or to glow, if you wish to say. Okay, they're not shouting at each other. That's unfortunate. I thought there was going to be some notes placed by each other on, uh, on either side of the building saying like, Hey, these hammers are dumb! And like, hey, these mechs are stupid! And it would be hilarious, I don't know. Uh, but... But sure. Can't have everything, can ya? Especially when the things I think of are so obviously genius that nobody would ever think to implement them other than me. Oh my god. Hmm. That... Okay, I'm not gonna do it now because someone's gonna get all up in my grill over here. But, I think that something suspect is happening over here. Just, just a hunch, but this ceiling here, you know, it's wooden. And there does not seem to be any particular reason why that would be so, other than... Using, uh, uh using this little trick here. Oh, ho, ho. oh, come on. On the other hand, I'm apparently blind because, yeah, well... Oh well. That definitely looks like something should be up there though. I don't know. Perhaps it's just me. Hmm. That is strange, but okay. Alrighty. This is quite the extensive mission here. How's my loot looking? Not so great, really. Priest Preston's private porters, Priest Preston's office. Do not disturb! I'm talking to a man who claims to be the rightful king of some faraway nation and don't want to be disturbed while I do so. If thou needs something of me, come back tomorrow. <laughs> they are taking him seriously. This is amazing. I mean, <laughs> this, is, this is so funny. I mean, seriously. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, this is funny! That, that sure sounds like a statement, but oh, that rosary is an actual loot thing. But I mean, it is. This is just... Super silly. Silly, that's the word I'm looking for. And, uh, yeah. I like it. So now, let's see if I can't go into the mechanist place and see what hilarity awaits from the followers of Hilaris. The, uh, funniest man alive. Although perhaps unintentionally so. The man whose voice is all embroiled up in copyright. Probably still owned by Eidos or something, because, like, I don't know. I'm not a professional voice actor, so I don't know who owns the rights to a voice that you act. Probably, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's probably not you, because nobody ever owns the rights to their own stuff when going the traditional way. It's quite the friendly thing. Oh, wait a minute. This thing is just here. <laughs> the hammer is actually fancier. It has multiple floors, although this one is taller, I suppose, so, yeah. And that every place has that weird wooden thing. I mean, I don't know what is going on. Okay, that's the graveyard. Yeah, this place is pretty huge for some reason. I mean, why not explore the graveyard? Sure. I might have to split this up. I don't know. Maybe not, though. Hmm. Nothing funny written on the graves, really? And frob the graves and a funny phrase happens. Is the Easter egg here? I don't know. I get the impression it's to do with climbing. I guess this graveyard ran out of time to have anything done with it or something. Hmm, weird. Not even a coin or a bit of loot or a golden vase or anything? Not even? Just a spooky old haunt guy? Well, alright. Hmm. Seems rather suspect. But sure, okay, I think this is just back where I've just been, let me see... Yeah, those walkers are just kinda... walking. 
Okay. So I have to go back there afterwards. I've been to the Wizard's Tower. I've been up in there. So I guess the only place left for me to go is to the manor. So I guess I won't cut it. It'll just be another long ep, if you will. And I gotta make sure I keep looking upwards and downwards and, and all around. So basically just play thief like this and everything's gonna be just fine. So over here, uh, I guess Lady Wenford has the extremely well-guarded palace to obvious excess or not because, you know, thieves, they exist. Oh, and the party's going out. Wow, that's a beautiful looking garden. Just like suddenly amazing talent with gardens going on over here. And some very slight usage of non-stock resources, but only very slightly. Kind of odd. Now, well, let's, let's see what we got. There's a group of ladies all congregating together against their male oppressors. And there's the male oppressor walking all along, and here's something in the pool. Which I'm gonna make noise if I get it, so like, I don't know how I'm supposed to get it by making noise, I guess. That makes sense. Whoops. So, I, I, this being the main attraction, I suppose it's also gonna be massive or something. I don't know, this is weird. Like, can I... Yeah, there's no way to not... Oh, you're not supposed to get it. It's just a bottle. Okay. Oh, that sunscreen pollution, dumping your bottles of sunscreen in the water. I told you to wear it, I didn't told you to dump it in your pool. That's a fairly disgusting activity there. Just saying. Oh, maybe you can pinch this out, but like, I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! No! Well, how do you want me to get that, that glassy glass then, huh? I ask you, huh? I say, huh, right up in your face. That's what I do. Wait, where is it? Oh, there. There we go. And also, somebody has a key, so... Sure, these ladies are congregating in a rather funeral-like atmosphere, though they're not saying much. I mean, I guess you don't have to be saying much necessarily to congregate. You could just sort of sit there with a zen-like attitude and bask in the glory of the garden that only half of you are looking at. Wait, this is like a whole texture, but I've never... I don't remember seeing a whole texture looking like that. Weird. Probably exists in Constantine's Manor or something, I don't know. Maybe it's fan-made. I don't know. To speculate is futeless. So, yeah, obviously not meant to go in that way. So, let's go in the obvious way, because obviousness is the name of the cat. Right into the gambling parlor, obviously. These ladies have blown all their money at the gambling parlor and are now about to bake all of their guests into a pie. Because we're poor. We have the only apple orchard and, like, the only food source ever in Ponyville, and we're super poor because gambling. Oh. That's... I, I just love the, uh... The creativity and willing to try different things. Like, look at that staircase. Dude's like, oh, you could have a straight, flat staircase, but no, I'm gonna have a slanted one. It's, oh, it's refreshing, you know? Someone's, like, trying a new thing with the engine and just not all bogged down and routine and standards of accountability. Although there is a lot of marble here, but hey, shh, we don't talk about marble. We're done talking about marbles. You talk about them. They start coming up to you and pulling on your pant legs, asking you for an allowance. Whoa! Looks of that. It's a bad time for everyone. Hoop, 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 hoop. All right, where are you? I'm over here, sir. Please. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah, sure, yep, yep. Oh, totally well. meant to do that. I was just, you know, pretending I was going to cheaty McCheat my way out of out of the way. Although Uncle Donny Go, or however you pronounce his name, uh has said that he once made a mission where you're supposed to knock out a guy from the front because he didn't know people considered it cheating or knew about it at all. That's interesting. So I guess some people don't consider it cheating. So ho ho, I've got uh, I've got a, a a thing I can say to make you think I'm not sure. Oh, well, I don't know what words mean anymore. Okay. So he goes that. Guy nap around here? No, he kind of comes back, I guess. Fair enough. Ooh. Cheat! Right, so I'm looking for a key and a dress. The key being to get some shoes. 
Oh. I missed the bakery, in fact. Oh. Oh. That's unfortunate. Oh, shit. What is going on here? This place is well guarded. What's happening? Okay, well, at least that isn't marble, so... So, so very well. And I guess that guy just kind of comes in and goes out very well. Someone so the there? bakery is, like, kind of free-floating in the middle here, so I must have gone there. That's weird. Obviously, I just missed something obvious. Good thing I have these objectives to tell me what to do. Eh? Indeed. Oh, but that's a cake. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Get the big chocolate cake at the bakery. This is a cake. I mean, that's not the big cake. Well, I did get some very big things in the wizard's place, but I guess they weren't cake. Now, sometimes these things are called things like salt and flour, and it's just like stunning, and you just look at them and wonder, but that wasn't the case that time. Right. Yep. I'm the messiest thief ever, just leaving guys around. I'm a pretty good at my job. Well, my job, if you'd like. So this must be the door. And suddenly this is like super non-stock fanciful. Yeah, things are kind of uneven in the mission. Yeah. But, eh, yeah, whatever. It's entertaining enough, so... Yeah, and it's got a good sense of humor, and... And humor... Humor is the, the thing that you want. I was trying to make a... Another funny joke with the word... Humor, but I guess I didn't have any. So that's the door with the guards guarding it. So I'm not gonna go out there. I guess now I've just only to go upstairs and also that ladder, because why not stick your valuables in the windowsill and have a ladder up to it? I mean, sure. Why not? <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. Whoa. No! And only one moss. Also, that carpet was marble too. Disgusting. Wait a minute, this is like another way up too, I think. Kind of could be. Oh, yeah, I think this carpet is is like the wrong floor texture. Oh, come on. There we go. So so yeah. I think I might be kinda screwed already, but that's okay being screwed. It's nice. You happen to be the type who thinks that. If not, then not. You know, people think things. Yeah, this this is clearly where I would say probably like a whole ton of nude portraits. Like, again, why not? Someone is being sensual, I suppose. Blue dress, red dress, and black dress. And here's the diary. Very sensual. I'm going to throw a party with my friends tonight. A drink till you drop and there's no more wine in the kitchen kind of party. Haven't had one of those in a long time. I invited my best friends as usual, including one who is a little more than a friend. Amanda Brambleton. Ah, Amanda, how beautiful you are, my sweet. Your pale, smooth skin. I don't think I really want to read this, do I? I mean... <laughs> Uh, y your feet. Well, then, okay. <laughs> I'm right to drag you off to Craigscraft. They don't exactly approve of love between you. Yep, well, that's true. But that's okay, because you just gotta go to East Fording and you'll find a couple of dudes who understand your plight, and I'm sure they'd take you in and give you a room or something. That'll be pretty great. Uh... They'd have to spend an effort on public relations. Right now, I wouldn't want to associate with a mechanist unless it's a secret deal. They're selling off some items from the lost city. That was the cheapest price, right? And you stuck him on your windowsill with a ladder. Very classy. Doesn't matter. The fact that our affair has to be kept secret makes it all the more exciting. Get drunk. Retreat to the bedroom. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, puke into the pool. Well, well, yeah, I mean, I don't know. See, it, I don't know. I'll be all, all innuendo and stuff like, oh, when I'm talking. But when it comes to actually reading about such stuff bluntly, I just won't do it. I, I'm sure that's an adorable trait, but, but yeah, but nothing. It's an adorable trait. It's nothing. what makes me super cute and cat-like. I will not say blah in your face if you call me cat-like. Although I might sort of look at you quizzically. Because quizzically is a pretty good word. So there's the dresses, yes. Oh, and I already got the key, actually, don't I? I... 
Totally blanked on the fact that that was the key I was looking for. How embarrassing. Oh well, all's well that ends well. Haven't found the Easter egg. I'm still guessing it's to do with crate stacking, but I mean, there's so many places I'm... I'm not sure about that. I mean, maybe I'll put in another video, because this one's pretty friggin' long as it is. So I kind of want to just end it. Although I don't really know why. I mean, it's already long, so what's a little bit more length? A. A. Yeah, so... So yeah, for some... I mean, there's that, uh... There's now three missions, I think, with uh, non-hetero relations in them. One of them being the Seven Sisters, and the other being the Chalice of Souls, and then the other being this one. The other, 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 you know, thing. So, that's that's an interesting thing to note, I suppose. Pretty cool. Uh, especially if it involves demons. Referencing an old joke that I have once made upon a time. Oh, and I also have to go to the bakery, too. I forgot. That's right. So, I don't know what I should do first, though. Maybe I should go to the bakery first, because it's kind of like a non-main... Oh, yeah, you... Wait a minute. I guess I didn't knock her out at all? Weird. So maybe nobody spawned. Maybe these guys just kind of cycle around in a strange fashion. Okay, so I went there, so I would probably want to go is Here. Yeah, look at them. Like, why are there four? <laughs> that is so weird. Oh, well. Yep, the bakery. Blatantly here. Sure. Kind of reminds me of Christine missions where you get the cake and stuff and just like all kinds of delectable sweets. Well, I see some donuts. I don't see a big cake. This is like a normal cake. Perhaps it's going to be hilariously massive. Oh, perhaps it can only be fit in the ginormous cake. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> ginormous cake rooms. So I guess I'll, I guess I'll, nah. no, I can't have my cake and eat it too, I guess I'll choose having it. Because I think my, well, my objective probably won't take off if I eat it again, but I don't know. <laughs> I guess, I guess I'll, I guess I'll eat it at some point, maybe. I don't know, indecisive Fen just calling it like he sees it. You, you are not in a non-hetero relation, therefore the mechanist will like you just fine, which is totally a worthy trade-off, obviously. My cakes are selling like hot cakes, no pun intended, and my, totally, and my reputation is spreading into other districts. It won't be long and I'll be recognized as the city's best baker. I already make enough money to afford the most beautiful furniture for my room. If I manage to make even more, I'll buy myself so many fancy dresses and nice shoes, my looks can rival a noble woman, and then I shall find a nice young man to marry and feed him cake every day and make him happy. Uh, everyone is happy when they eat my cake. Ha! Ah, whole thanks to my dear grandmother Barbara who passed down that heavenly recipe to me. Well, hey, you know, I mean... Oh yeah, this chest. It's it's weird like that. Uh, so I guess, hey, you know, if you want to just bake cake for your guy and stuff his face and make him happy, as it were, who am I to judge? I suppose. Wait a minute, my loot. I don't have my loot goal. How close am I? Not that close, even. I gotta be more careful here. What the heck is going on? Hmm. I get the feel. I mean, yeah, I gotta go into the lady what's her face's place still, but I get the feeling that won't get all my loot. I don't know. Getting slightly worried. If I'd like to know the truth. And that window does look rather like when it's open like that. But okay. I've got the key. Let's hope I can finish this. All right. Get it all prepared. What? I don't even remember this room. Oh, I guess I do. Okay, lost my bearings for a second there. Never mind. Here we are. Yep, I... Yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, there doesn't look to be... Any loot at all in this room besides what I need? Can shoes fit in here? Seriously, where am I missing it? I even went through the... No, that's loot, okay. Where's her shoes then? Hang on. Oh, there they are. Okay, so that's that. Wow, I need like 800 or so loot. 
That weird lady, Gretel Van, knocked at my door again today, offering to buy my favorite pair of shoes for a ridiculous amount of money. I already sold her three of my best dresses, as she paid way more for them than I paid for the tailor, but I'm not selling my shoes. Wait a minute. Knocked at my door, offering to buy... I already sold her three of my best dresses. Wait. You already sold them? Then why am I stealing them? Oh. Uh, they're the most comfortable pair I've ever worn, and the master craftsman who made them died recently. Oh, I thought you killed him so he couldn't make more. Hmm. That woman is quite obsessed. She wants to be the most well-dressed lady in town, so she's paying exorbitant amounts of money for other ladies to sell her their best clothes. That's like a really silly plot, you know? That way, nobody else will be as well-dressed as her. I wonder where she takes all that money from. Tonight, I'll be off to Lady Wenford's Manor. She's my best friend, and now I'm gonna get into some erotic fiction, I guess, and throw some of the best parties in town. Last time, we had a party in her garden and filled the entire pool with wine and swam in it. Uh, that was on her birthday, though, and since there's no special occasion today, it'll be a little less decadent. That sounds kind of disgusting, actually. Still, I'm really looking forward to it. We'll tell a few stories, drink a lot of wine, and after that, well, let's just say I'm probably going to wake up at Lady Wenford's bed again, naked, with her lying next to me. <laughs> ah, my dearest Lydia, there's nothing as sweet as blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Foot massage. And, and so on and so forth. Uh... Yeah, okay. So I'm not sure if Lady Gretelven would resort to thievery, but it's better to be safe than sorry. The trip over to Lady Winford's manor is quite short anyway, so I won't mind walking it without shoes. Lydia will surely like seeing me barefoot, blah, 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 blah. Tom what the hell? Tomorrow she'll show me her new additions to her collection. Recently she acquired a few ancient objects from and can't wait to show them to me. From, from somebody. She loves collecting old stuff, especially if it's ancient. The older it is, the more interested she is in it. She can get really passionate when talking about history. It's pretty cute how paranoid she is. She keeps her collection hidden in a secret room that can only be opened by flipping two switches. Ah, there's my treasure. And when I asked her how to open it, she didn't even tell me straight, only in a riddle. That's because she's not straight. Oh, get it? Look under her feet where uh, the flowers grow, then above the sheets. Oh, yeah. Under her feet where the flowers... Yeah. Then she smiled and blah, blah, blah. Can I pick the... Oh, please make me able to pick the stuff up if it's a riddle. Okay. Saved it, so... Under her feet were the flowers above the sheets where her blatantly nude stuff in her bedroom is. Why not? Okay, this is, this is quite the erotic masterpiece up in here, but that's kind of interesting. The loot is almost pretty much actually guaranteed to be the last goal you get. That's kind of interesting. It's not like a main goal per se, but it is, it is, uh, kind of like the climactic goal that you get. That's, that's, all I've got to say is that's interesting over and over, but I mean it is. So, I think my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reset my recording here. I'm sorry if I've disappointed anyone who is looking forward to me reading those naughty parchments out, but I just can't do it, like, um, Oh, seriously, it's... I don't know what the hell's wrong with me, but... There's people around here, you know? I can't have them thinking I'm 29 years old and reading naughty oh. parchments, that's awful! So, either the flowers could mean, like, in the garden somewhere, or it could mean, like, a picture of flowers or something? Under her feet, oh, wait a minute. You mean, like... Oh, where's... Which lady is which lady? Like... Under her feet. Like, her real feet? Flowers grow. Well, here's some flowers. So I guess I'll look here first. I don't know. I'm... Hmm. Kind of hard to look around when you're being seen all the time. I don't know. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll look inside for portraits or something. I don't know. Unless there's something over that way, but I don't think there? so. Okay, so... Feet, flowers... Stuff growing... Well, I mean, these are flowers, but what does that got to do with feet? Under her feet. Well, feet are mentioned a lot. But, I mean... I don't know. Feet. Well, there's feet. Oh, yeah. With a flower. Okay. Switch is going to be here somewhere. Should be. I'm almost certain. There's feet. And there's the flower pot. Uh... Oh, 
there's a switch. Okay. There. And there. Which is actually a really obvious switch, so I didn't need the second part of the riddle. But okay. Where the... But yeah. <laughs> Come on. I don't know, man. This is... Uh... Oh, there we go. This is definitely something. Well, time to return to my room. Well, I don't know what to make of this. It's... It's definitely kind of all over the place, but it was fun, and that's the important thing, and it was funny, although it got more serious towards the end for some reason, and uh, also extremely erotic for some also reason. That's kind of weird. I mean, unexpected, but uh, hey, it, it was enjoyable and kind of like charming in its quirkiness, so yeah, I mean... Definitely, like, a lot less polished and, you know, so forth, but... And now there's only one guy. I know they've kind of split up. This well, this is quite the long episode. I guess I have to get all the way back up to my bedroom. Or as they say in Canada... That's what we say in Canada. Me? I'm a uh, racist against myself! Oh! Yeah. Wow, I came damn close, actually. Hmm. Oh, well, that is the last mission. And all three of these missions were really fun. Like, yeah, this one definitely shows the first mission vibe more than the other two. But it was genuinely fun. It was, like, a solid play, and it was funny. And got pretty awkward near the end, so that was cool. And it's just got, like, all the elements, like, roping up and stuff. And going into windows. And it's got an Easter egg I didn't find. And it's got readables about people being sexy for some reason. And it's got like a whole bunch of naked people in it. So, you know, all in all, pretty cool. And if I figure out where to look for the Easter egg, I guess I might do it in another video. But all of these guys should keep making missions because seriously. So, yeah. Great job all and see you guys next time. Bye for now.